Welcome to part two of How to Draw a Pumpkin. Um, today we're going to be looking at a different artist and how she makes pumpkin. This is Yayoi Kusama from Japan. She makes um, paintings and sculptures. You see how big this pumpkin is. It's a little one for scale. And she loves to make beautiful polka dot pumpkins. Here's another one. If you look, you can see the people at the bottom there. See how big that is. And then here's some paintings and her sculptures together. So let's learn more about her. Gayoi Kusama, From Here to Infinity. Written by Sarah Suzuki and illustrated by Ellen Weinstein. Yayoi Kusama was born in the country of Japan on the island of Honshu in a town called Matsumoto City. An old palace made of wood and stone overlooked a moat where swans swam. The streets were lined with little shops and snow-capped mountains rose in the distance, swallowing up the sun as it went down in the evening. Yayoi's family owned nurseries where all kinds of flowers and vegetables grew and workers tended the plants as they matured from seeds to sprouts to stalks. But Yayoi yearned for a different life far from the countryside. She dreamed about what lay beyond the mountains in places far from Matsumoto City. She longed to leave home and see the world. Yayoi's mother wanted her to stay home and learn old-fashioned manners how to dress elegantly, walk demurely, eat politely, and find a proper husband. But Yayoi wanted to be an artist. Every day she went outside with ink and brushes and paper. She drew things she saw and things she imagined. She looked closely at the pebbles that lined the riverbed and at the leaves and stalks of, of plants, and she drew them as chains of tiny cells that looked like dots. When she was older and studying art in school, her teachers disapproved of her work, and they demanded that Yayoi paint in the traditional, precise Japanese style. She wanted to go where she could live without rules. When she was 28 years old, she packed up her silk kimonos and thousands of drawings and stuffed dollar bills into the toes of her shoes. It was her first airplane trip. There were only four other passengers and the weather was stormy with rain and lightning. The airplane wobbled and dipped as it flew to America. Does this look familiar? It's our city, it's New York. In New York, Yayoi went to the top of the Empire State Building, the tallest building in a city full of tall buildings. When she looked down, she saw buses and cars and yellow taxis zooming up and down the avenues, and bakers and teachers and artists rushing to work. From up on the 86th floor, they looked like dots. She felt very far from quiet Matsumoto City and her mother's rules. Here, it seemed, anything was possible. Yayoi set her sights on turning her drawings of dots into paintings. The dollar bills that she had brought to America quickly ran out, and she spent what little money she had left on paints and canvases. She worked day and night. She painted when she was cold, hungry, or lonely. And she turned her dots into sculptures, too, into stuff, stu soft stuffed tubes that covered sofas and chairs and boats. She was devoted to her dots. For her, they were a way of thinking about world among the stars. As one dot among millions of other, they were a way of thinking about infinity. Sometimes when she grew frustrated, she visited the Museum of Modern Art. She gazed at paintings by other artists and she thought about why and how they were made. She looked at pictures of dancing girls and swirling night skies trying to solve them as if they were puzzles. Her painting seemed so different from those she had seen at the museum. When she was at last ready to show her work in public, she invited all her friends from New York. When she arrived at the gallery, a crowd was spilling out onto the sidewalk. 
Her friends lifted her into the air, shouting, Yayoi, you've finally done it! Word about her artwork spread quickly. Her friends told their friends, newspapers wrote about her work, and reporters clamored to interview her about her dots. Next, she began to show them in other cities all over the United States and Europe. Her dots were covering the world. They appeared in Venice in thousands of dot-shaped mirrors scattered over a big green lawn on a pumpkin on a pier, on dresses and t-shirts, on people walking down the streets, and in mirror rooms where glowing dots were reflected and reflected again. An infinity of dots. If you look really closely, we can see something there. Let's zoom in. It's another pumpkin. Here's Yayoi in her, one of her infinity rooms. Having visited many countries all over the world, Yayoi returned to Japan. The country had changed since she left, with many different artists challenging the old traditional style, just as she had been doing all along. She still lives in Japan, and she continues to paint her dots every day. These are some of her paintings and sculptures. And this is one of her infinity rooms. And here's a picture of me and my mom at one of them. <laughs> this one I think is my favorite. If you look closely, it's a kitchen, a living room, dining room, all covered with these beautiful dots. And that's it. That's the end. All right. Now let's go on to our project for today making a pumpkin like Yayoi Kusama. Okay, we're going to start by making a little rainbow at the top of your paper. Make sure to leave a little bit of room there so you can add the stem later. Make your rainbow arc, flip your paper over, and then draw another one at the bottom there. Flip it back. Then you're going to connect the two rainbows with a big curved line on the left and the right. Then you're going to make two more arced rainbows on the right and then on the left. You're going to do the same thing here. Flip it over or <laughs> just draw the two at the bottom there and connect them with a curvy line. We're going to do this one more time. The top and then at the bottom. Then if you remember, her pumpkins are a little wiggly. So if you want to add some wiggle lines on the side there, you can go ahead and do that. Or you can just add um, the curved line as normal. Now we're going to add the polka dots. So in the middle of your pumpkin, oh, add the stem. In the middle of your pumpkin, I want you to draw a few really big polka dots, a few big circles there. And then you can go to the next section and do the same thing, those really big dots. Um, just in the middle there. If you're out of room like I did, just try your best. <laughs> then you're going to go through and add little dots or little circles that are filled all the way through. Um, looking back on this, I should have just used my marker to make a dot instead of having to go back and fill them in. So I would recommend if you have a marker or a crayon, just color in the circle or make a big dot there so you don't have to go back and color them in like I did. 
um, and then you're going to go through and color in the um, big dots that you made. You can use any color that you have. Um, I'm just using black because that's what I have. Also, don't worry too much about drawing, you know, perfect circles. We're really just going for dots rather than the perfect circle. So don't worry too much about that. Um, we're just going more for the polka dot effect. So you're going to be filling them in. And then when you're all done, if you have extra colors, um, you're going to go ahead and color that all in. You can also leave it blank if you want a black and white pumpkin too. That's all for today. Um, good luck, and I can't wait to see your polka dot pumpkins.